when you do your Chinese paintings and you teach your Chinese classes, don't you, Jamie? Mm. What is it you hope to bring out of your students? A sense of the spontaneous and a sense of the Tao flowing through everything. A sense that space is at least as important, if not more important, than a thing. Mm. And so the thing can be brought into the heart. And then in Chinese painting, you paint from the heart, through the shoulder, and out through the hand and the brush onto the paper. So it isn't a thing of the mind necessarily in terms of thinking. And it's not planning to paint this flower. It's the flower in the heart that has to come out then through the hand and the brush. And then the space around it, in the same way that the Tao enlivens, emptiness enlivens a thing, in that same way in Chinese painting, the space enlivens a blossom or a fish, mm -hmm. or whatever. <laughs> Who taught you? Mm, my teachers. My first teacher was someone I met in the same sort of adult education class that I teach now. And she handed out the paper and the brushes and the ink, and I dipped that brush for the first time in the ink and touched it on that rice paper, and my mind and my heart just slammed open. And she after a year or so, introduced me to her teachers. And then she introduced me to more teachers in San Francisco, which was a couple of hours from where we lived. Mm -hmm. And it was like falling into something I had always known mm -hmm. and had always been able to do and had always understood. Mm -hmm. It was like coming home for me. So it was a gift from that first touch of the ink on the paper. Mm -hmm. And do you see that process happening with your own students now? Sometimes, sometimes. Mm. I have students who want very meticulous instruction and all of that, and you have to teach them the technique, which is not easy. Mm. Ink and water and the brush and the paper mm. are a whole technology we're not mm. familiar with. Mm. But to teach them to just let themselves flow out mm. is really miraculous for me to watch because they're each so individual and unique. Mm. I have some that paint kind of like a Chinese Cezanne, mm. and others <laughs> who want very pure Chinese mm. aesthetic. Mm. And th that's the wonder for me, is mm. how each of them will take that mm. idea of an object and space, mm. and the technology of the ink and the paper, and through art will create something absolutely mm. unique. So each individual soul is expressing it the mm -hmm. same thing yes. in it, their own way. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Each individual soul somehow has a talent and a beauty. Mm. And they're so surprised when they see that, that they can actually bring forth something they didn't know was inside of them mm. in this very spontaneous and playful environment. What would you say in terms of the integral wisdom is actually happening there? In, in terms of integral art, mm. ideas and the artist and the artist bringing forth ideas. How do you understand what's happening there in Chinese, in your Chinese mm. painting? In Chinese painting, I think that the integral idea is expressing itself whole, without the intermediary of all of the things that we do in Western art that fill up a canvas, mm. all the little details and things that somehow the integral ideal can just flow out like Zen mm. onto the paper. And there's this beautiful mark. Mm. And the mark can then stand on its own. Mm. Or it can suggest something else. Mm. Maybe it needs a fish mm. or a leaf <laughs> or something like that. Mm. But I think it's, for me, that's what it is mm. that causes me to love it so much, mm. is that the integral ideals flow from inside the heart mm. without the mind saying it must be this way or that way mm. and dividing it up. 